Hey guys, welcome back to Lux Biz. I'm Tatiana, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Jungle Scout. So Jungle Scout is going to help you with your product research when you're just starting your Amazon FBA business and you're looking to source a product online. But if you don't have Jungle Scout and you've already got a product, it's still a great option for you. Now back when I started four years ago, this stuff, these tools didn't exist. You really did have to do everything manually, or at least if they did exist, I wasn't aware of them. <laughs> so I did everything manually and it took a lot of time. But now these tools exist so that you can save time, speed up the process, and get much more accurate information and data. So I love this tool, and I've tried many of the ones out there. There are so many, you probably see a lot of advertisements for different things, but Jungle Scout is by far one of the best, and it's recommended by many people in this industry. So I'm gonna hop behind a computer for you because I can't explain to you how Jungle Scout works. I have to demonstrate it to you. If you have any questions though, please do comment below for me in the comment section. And if you guys do wanna purchase Jungle Scout, you can purchase it using my affiliate link in the description, which will give you a discount on your purchase. All right, so I am on amazon.com right now, and I'm just gonna show you kind of how the Jungle Scout Chrome extension works, how I use it at least. Um, I'm probably not an expert, <laughs> but I'll show you how it works for me. So I'm gonna just, you know, do some product research, research, basic product research. Let me try and think of something in the house. Let's say um, cell phone holder for car. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up. It's gonna show all these different products here. And I just wanna have an overview. I wanna know what the stats are about this product niche. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't think you can see it because my thing's not um, showing up, but there's a little button near the Chrome where you type in the URL and it's the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. And when I click it, automatically, it's gonna pull up all the information from this page in a matter of a few seconds, and it's gonna give me this valuable information and this data so I can make my decision on whether or not this is a product I want to look further into. So this is how I would approach it. So I'll just wait until these populate. So you can see here the average monthly sales is about 5,200. Average sales rank is about 9,300. And remember that the lower the sales rank, the better. But it is gonna depend from category to category. So you can't compare the automotive category with the gardening category, category BSR because they are gonna be different. Um, it also shows the average price, which is super valuable to know because if I were to do this manually, I'd have to like add all of these up and then calculate the average, whereas the computer just did it for me. So now I know that the average selling price is about $14. I can decide, hmm, do I want my product to sell at $14? Am I really gonna have profit margins? Mm, I'd like a higher ticket product. And then here you can see the average review. So lots of reviews. Seems like this is a really um, high competition niche. And then here we can see that the opportunity score. So a score from one to 10 that grades the potential opportunity for sellers. A high score, nine or 10, means it could be a great opportunity for sellers. A low score of one or two represents a niche that may have a low demand, high competition, high quality listings, or a combination of these items, period. So this shows high demand with high competition. So it just kind of gives me um, an overview of, okay, this is what to expect with this category niche. And then what I can do is I can also see which products are sponsored, meaning that these these people are paying for to advertise their product on Amazon, so they're sponsored products. So usually the people who sponsor, who are paying for advertising, they're gonna make more in sales per month than other people because um, you know they're paying for it basically. So I usually try to avoid these people when I'm calculating when I'm doing my product research because I feel like their, their data might be a little bit skewed because maybe they've been promoting their product for a couple months and you know it's not 100% accurate. So I go to the people who aren't sponsored products. So here I can just see the image, I can see the price, I can just get a really good overview. And then I can see what the brand name is. So I can see two of these are from the brand MPOW, oh three. So it seems like this is a brand, an Amazon seller, or maybe a big brand that I haven't heard of, which I could look into. I could Google this brand. Um, and it seems like they're kind of specializing in this niche. There's another one right there too. 
And then I can also see the price. So this is really great. But again, I have the average price there already. I can see the category that they're in. So they're all in the cell phones category. I can see their rank, all this information. But what I really like to look at is the revenue. This is really cool. So I can see how much revenue, estimated revenue, they're making each and every month. So I can see here that this person who is doing the sponsored products, they've got, wow, they've got a lot of reviews. So they've got a lot of reviews and they're doing around $210,000 per month. So that's really high, but they have so many reviews. I'm not even going to bother competing with them. It's just crazy. These ones are doing $331,000 per month. So very high. So what I would do is I would just go down a bit and I just kind of get an overview. I like to look at the, the smaller guides. I like to look at the guides with fewer than 100 reviews because it gives me a better idea of, okay, if I'm a new seller and I don't have any reviews, this is maybe the sale of this volume that I could expect. It depends, of course, on their listing and how they optimize it and how they market their products, but it does give me an overview. So I would look here, you know, this one's doing $2,000 a month. Wow, this one's got 24 reviews and doing $22,000 a month. So they're doing really good, but they are also paying for sponsored products. So the problem with this is that, yeah, they might be doing $22,000 a month, but maybe they're not making any profits on that. Maybe they're actually losing money on that. So I don't like to look at the sponsored products. So I'm going to look for some other guys here. This one has 39 reviews and it's doing $14,000 a month. I think is really good. So for this product, I am more interested in it. So I might click it to check out the listing and, um, and then maybe add it to my product opportunity spreadsheet. And let's see here. This one has 23 reviews. Oh, it's also sponsored. So overall, I don't think that this category would interest me just because it seems that the sponsored products are the ones who are really doing well when they don't have a lot of reviews. And also it's just really high competition with these guys. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm actually interested in this niche anyways. So I'm just going to look at this one though, just out of curiosity's sake. I'm going to check out the review. So you can see here the selling price is $11.99. So it's pretty low. Um, keep in mind that if this is Amazon FBA, which it is, that they're going to be paying Amazon like maybe $6 from this. So their product better be really cheap to manufacture or they're really not making much profit at all. So anyways, Jungle Scout provides all this information via the Chrome extension. So it's really, really awesome. And then here you can see kind of associated keywords. So if you are looking at this category, um, then you have all of these. Um, so you, you can know what the keywords are for your category. So this helps when you are going to list your products on Amazon, you know what keywords you should be putting in your listing. And... It also can pull up a Google Trends report. So it can tell you what the trends are over the lifetime of this product over the past 12 months. So you can see, you know, sometimes a product might be like looking like an amazing opportunity, but it's just a trend. It's gonna die down in a month or two. So it's important to see what the long-term sales are of this product. And then you can always export this table. So that's really cool. Um, I love this Chrome extension, super, super easy to use and just provides so much information. So now I'm gonna share with you the web app. Okay, so this is the web app. You can see here, this is gonna help you facilitate that product research and help you pick a product that you're actually interested in. Sometimes people are like, oh, I don't like this product at all, but it's a hot product. But you know what, sometimes it's worth picking a product that you actually have some interest in or even a little bit of passion for because it's really going to help you during the rough times when things get tough with your business and you're stressed, at least maybe the product can help motivate you and you might, might be more inspired to talk about it and promote it and market it. So here you can make that happen. So you can go to, you can pick the categories you're interested in. So for example, I'm probably going to pick, I like health. Um, I don't want to be in the category. I like toys. Toys are good. I'm going to just select those two just for the sake of um, there's going to be too much information. And then I can pick the marketplace. So again, if you're selling, you know, overseas, you can pick what marketplace you want to search this for. I'm going to stick to United States. And then I'm going to say the product here. I'm going to say standard size. I don't want to pick a, a product that's really, really large. Um, and I also want to pick a product that's sell, um, an FBA product. So I'm going to select that. And then I can input all these different filters. So 
depending on how you want to do your product research, uh, depending if you took a course or whatever you want to do, you might have some filters that you want to input here and you can also save the filter. So for me, I want my minimum selling price to be like $19. And for my max price, I'd want it to be a maximum of $60. It really just depends. I'm just kind of making up some stuff right now. You can also put the minimum profit, the net, the minimum sales rank, the minimum amount of sales, the revenue per month, reviews. I would say max reviews for my product. I don't want to see more than 300. Let's just say that. Um, and then rating and then weight. Max weight, I don't want it to be more than 1.5 pounds. And yeah, so you can just get as specific or as broad as you want to go. And you can also have keywords in here if you want to exclude some things from your searches. So I'm just going to say search and it's going to do all the work for me. And this is what comes up. So sometimes they're really, really random products, but they're worth looking into. So we can see here, this is some sort of white puppy dog, cute dollhouse miniature animal. I have no idea what this is. This is not a good title. Um, and we get an overview of what the profit might be. We see the weight, oops. We see the reviews, only eight reviews and the sales rank. So um, you can also filter this so that it shows you by sales rank. So the highest sales rank to the lowest sales rank. And you can also filter by revenue. You can filter by any one of these things, but I like to do revenue just because I like to see the sellers who are actually um, doing, making a lot of sales. So sometimes products like this where their revenue is really high, but they don't have a lot of reviews, there is something a little fishy about them. So it's worth investigating. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's why. All right. So. Yeah, there are, there are products that you might want to eliminate from the list, but you're, you're going to get really good ideas and ideas for products that you might not have found by just browsing Amazon alone. So I really like to do this, go through this list. It's really worth your time. And then pretty soon you're going to be finding products that are just like, hmm, this is interesting. And you might click it, you have no idea what it is, and then you discover something brand new. So this looks like it's a replacement for headgear. So this is such a random thing, right? And it's got no product images, literally no information about this product. So you can tell that this person is not like a, uh, an Amazon FBA seller. They're just like the actual brand is just putting it on Amazon and making sales, but they don't actually care to optimize anything. So potentially if I source this product, you know, I would know exactly how to have the best product images, the best keywords, the best bullet points. And so I could really um, make the most out of this product. And so you can see here that there's like no information about the product, basically no description. And uh, yeah, that's what the product looks like. So this could be a, a good potential product, you know, who knows, this could be a great one. So we can see here that the revenue is about 140,000 a month, you know, the net profit is not bad and the rank's not bad. So I would definitely add this to my product list and do further research about this. So maybe it's because this is a brand name that it is, you know, specific, but let's just search replacement headgear and maybe this will give me some more ideas and I'm going to search it in all categories. And that's now I can also use my Google, uh, my Jungle Scout Chrome extension to see what comes up. So this, Basically, the app gave me an idea for a product, which I input on Amazon, and then the Chrome extension can help me decipher how good of a product this is. So you can see here, this is a medium demand with low competition, and it's green. So the score is seven. So this is actually a really good product opportunity. So I definitely would add this to my spreadsheet, and I would look into this a bit further. You can see here that a lot of people don't have a ton of reviews, like 89 reviews, but making $137,000 a month. I mean, heck, I'd be happy to make $7,000 a month and only have 43 reviews. So, um, and the opportunity score also is because like nobody's optimizing their listings, right? These are really not optimized at all by any means. So if someone experienced like myself who's been through a training course, I would definitely dominate this niche. So that's kind of what it does, which is really cool. Um, some other things that it can do, I mean, there's tutorials here, which is great, which is really, really handy. Um, you can export this uh, if you want to export it as a document. 
You can also use the product tracker. Hey guys, I had to sign up for the trial because I'm not able to access my account for some reason. It wouldn't let me log in. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, so it's gonna give me a little tutorial for you. This is great. Okay, click the button to create a group. So if I select marketplace, name your group, let's say cell phone. case. Next, select products. So this is for if I want to track. So let's say I want to track these products. Next, almost there, click the create and add products button. Congratulations. Ah! So essentially you can um, track products here. So if I'm interested in this headgear, I could put it here and check back a week, two weeks later and see what the, the history is, see what's going on with this product and get more information. Then you can also use a niche hunter, which is pretty cool. So I can um, also select the niche I wanna be in, let's say health and household, and we can filter things kind of find a niche for myself. Let's go more expensive just for the heck of this tutorial. Low competition. Good opportunity score. So let's just see what comes up from that. So here it's gonna give me some more ideas. So Comet Glove, Genetic Bracelet, Cascade Professional, and it tells me, okay, what is the opportunity score for this product? So basically just helping you with that product research. This is as good as it gets. It's really awesome, it's so valuable, because trust me, if you're gonna just go on Amazon and research things and look at, okay, let's say um, slippers, like it, it will take you a long time to find a niche product that would be a great opportunity for private labeling. We'll go here. There's also the keywords. Um, so this is gonna help you find keywords for your listing and there's listing builder. There are just like a lot of different things here. Um, so I definitely do recommend this for you guys. If you're interested, I'll link it down below with a coupon code in the description. Um, I definitely use it when I am doing product research. When I'm not, I don't need it. And you guys don't have to either. You can use it for the time that you are doing product research. And then when you're no longer needing it, you can unsubscribe with your subscription and just not pay the monthly fee. So hopefully this was helpful. Comment below if you have any questions.